This episode of Love Lauren is sponsored by Mopar Tours. Got a new question from a viewer. Hey everyone, it's Michael from Love Lauren. I've got a new viewer submitted question to share with you today. So let's get stuck in. So Aiden contacted me and Aiden said, thanks in advance for all of your videos, much help. Yes. I've stripped my reel out of my Scott Bonner 45 for a sandblast and powder coat and resharpen. Now I'm just wondering, how do I go about the bed knife? Do I remove the bed knife from the sole plate to sharpen and paint or leave the bed knife as is? Now, that is a very good question because got a sole plate, that's the cast iron bit. There's no bed knife on here, but the bed knife would normally attach to the bottom here. That's the second cutting edge, basically, that your reel makes contact with or you know, cuts with uh, while you're mowing. So this cast iron uh, sole plate is, uh, this one's a bit of a mess, but you know, in general, they are flat-ish, but not flat enough. So what we need to do is be sure that when we are sharpening our bed knives, that they are attached to the sole plate in their final position so that we can um, basically um, end up with an edge that is straight, regardless of what the sole plate itself is doing. So I think that's probably the, the one main takeaway for today, but um, yeah, make sure you sharpen your bed knife on the sole plate. Now, of course, that then begs the question, um, what do we want to do to prep this thing? Um, and you know, potentially the, the uh, bottom blade as well. So. Um, number one, you're going to need to remove your um, old, um, your your existing uh, bottom blade. So there are one, two, three, four, five um, screws that attach that bottom blade in the case of this 14 inch um, saw plate. Um, there may be more on the longer ones. Um, so you need to get those out. And a lot of the time, like if you can see, see down there, they're pretty horrible and rusty. You know, it's just an area of the machine that cops a bit of abuse. and. Yeah, getting those flathead screws off is, uh, I don't have one to show you, but they're a flat-headed um, screw in there. Um, they're not always that easy. So, you know, try it and see. You might end up sort of munching up the the slot um, in the in the screw head, but, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, if you're lucky, they'll, they'll come out. Um, if not, um, there are other, um, other means. Um, one of which is, an impact driver, so that's a manual impact driver. It's got a flat bladed uh, driver on there. Pop it in there, give it a whack with the mallet or whatever, and uh, you know, just delivers that impact to the tip of this thing to, to get those screws moving. That may work for you. Um, if not, you can try a little pin punch and sort of tap the thing around or start it moving at least um, as one option. Uh, and of course, a little bit of um, oil uh, you know, penetrating oil in each of those holes goes a long, long way as well, especially when you're dealing with uh, with an older machine that maybe hasn't been, uh, you know, had a bottom blade replaced in a long time. So all good options. Um, failing that, um, if you've got the means, heat is always your friend. A little bit of heat on each of those might get you going, but worst case, what you can do, imagine your blades on here. Turn that around. Imagine your blades on here. You can, um, you know, just grind back the surface of each of those bolt heads, weld on a nut, and then use your um, ratchet setter, spanner, whatever, to take them off that way from the outside in, and that that usually always works. Oh yeah, replacing your bottom blade is also an option. Um, they're not very expensive. I think they're like 20, 30 bucks sort of thing. And, um, you know, if you're worried about the condition of your blade, if it's rusty and crappy looking and, you, d you know, you just don't think you're going to get a good grind on it, you know, back to, you know, metal that's, you know, of a certain quality, then, you know, whacking a new blade on there is not a bad option. Just remember that a new blade does need to be ground as well. They don't come ground, you know, out of the box. And, you know, like I said, your reference surface is this, um, is the sole plate itself. So getting that, um, getting that blade mounted in place before you grind is the way to go. Um, let's see, what else? Um, should you paint the blade itself? Um, let's see, stepping back, should you paint this thing? Yeah, it's up to you. Yes, why not? It's cast iron, but a um, little bit of paint, uh, you know, never goes awry. There's a bit of corrosion showing on this, probably from the blade itself. Um, but the sole plate, you know, it's uh, it's something that's not very visible on the machine, but nonetheless, if you're an OCD type like me, 
having a bit of paint on there is the thing to do. The blade, um, yeah, again, for me, I don't like seeing corrosion like that where, you know, water's gotten in or whatever. Um, so, you know, painting the blade is probably my preferred approach. The grinders may not agree with me on that. They may prefer, you know, bare metal just so it doesn't gum up their stones and that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, the other thing that you can deal with potentially or have to deal with is any chipping on the blade itself. So, you know, mask it off, you know, mask off the cutting edge if you want to, paint the rest of it, do what you want to your mower. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, it's, it's your option at the end of the day. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will just add that when you replace um, the blade, um, get new screws, do yourself a favor. They're cheap um, and you know, you probably destroy the old ones getting them out anyway. So new screws for, um, for your bottom blade. And I think that's about, you know, pretty simple. It's about all there is to it, to your sole plate and your bottom blade. Don't drop them on the floor because the cast iron, you don't want to crack it. But um, apart from that, pretty simple. So, good luck guys. Send me your questions and I'll do some more videos like these if you like them. Ciao.